So, I'm all ready. Let's get started and head to the game. So, I'm pretty excited. The sun's out and it's fully shining. But, yesterday's game, we went to the Cleveland Guardians at Progressive Field in Cleveland and Ohio. And it was just like this. And when we got there and we were eating dinner, the clouds rolled in. By the time we got to the game, it was within a half hour to an hour. It started pouring down rain. My husband and I thought it was just going to continue to rain the whole night. It was near 9 o'clock. It was still raining. We were assuming that they were just going to call it a game day and just delay it and cancel it for another day, which is fine because we would be able to go to another game. The only thing is, is after we left, we got home. It was pouring at home, which was about a 45-minute drive home. And by the time we got home, we noticed that they resumed the game. Go figure, right? So I hope this doesn't happen today. I do know that um, football teams play through bad weather, but if it's going to hail and lightning, they probably won't. But let's just pray that it don't and that we have a great game today. Because after we got home yesterday, we lost out on our tickets. We sat there till near 9 o'clock. Um, still enjoyed ourselves and everything and all the games and activities that they had at the field, but we didn't actually get to see the Indi or the Guardians, excuse me, they changed their name from Cleveland Indians to Cleveland Guardians. We didn't actually see them play, and when we got home, we just kept up with the score. Unfortunately, we lost, but we missed out on a great fireworks show, so redemption in the future. So in September, we decided we're going to go to another Cleveland Guardians game and redo it all over with better weather and this time they're giving out hoodies then it's going to be dollar hot dog day and fireworks so maybe it's for the best we'll be going to a better game so let's head out we're going to the browns game today so finally in the car and heading out to the game it's about a 45 minute drive with good traffic bad traffic maybe about an hour hopefully we find good parking yesterday um, when we went to the Cleveland Guardians game we scored $15 parking but I don't think we're gonna get that lucky because usually an average parking fee for a Cleveland Browns game is between 30 40 and $60 but only one can hope so let's get so we finally made it to Cleveland. It did rain on the way in, but it looks like it stopped, so we might have good luck. Um, we're just coming into Cleveland now, so we have to go find parking before we actually get into the game, but I'm just glad the rain subsided for now. I know that they usually play during bad weather, but if it lightnings, they, they won't, and I just can't get my bandages wet because I'm only two weeks post-op surgery, so I'm lucky my doctor cleared me for these games, but... I have to be wheelchaired into a seat and I'm going to try to exchange my tickets like I did yesterday's game when we went to the Cleveland Guardians to like a handicap seating because I can't get these bandages wet and uh, I need more convenience. Even though we have really, really good seats, we're at the low level and the box seats um, real close to the field, um, which is sad because that's great seats and you want to be in those seats. But then again, on a day like this, if we're covered, we can stay the whole game and not worry about getting wet. So, traffic's been crap today. Let me see. So, it's just been backed up. There is a, another Cleveland Guardians game going on today along with the Cleveland Browns. I don't know if there's any concert shows or anything anywhere else, but there has been like two or three accidents on the way in. So, it's kind of slowing us down. I like to usually get in at about an hour early. That way we get settled. We get any food, snacks, drinks, or anything like that. Get to our seats. And we're going to be cutting it close today because of all the delays just coming into Cleveland. And we still have another one. And this is just getting off the exit. So I think it's people going to the game as well as going to the Cleveland Guardians game as well. So hopefully we get there and get there to our seats and Finally made it in and finally made it up to our seats and it is at the bottom of the first quarter so we nearly missed 
a whole quarter of the game because of traffic and everything else we had to deal with on the way in. So, made it to our seats, trying to make the best of it. Here we go. Here we go, brownies. Here we go. <laughs>
still got some clouds, but the sun's out. I can feel the heat. So this game might just make it and beat the rain. Thank goodness. Yesterday's game, not so much. Watch the fast. so good but it makes you so thirsty so I'm a gastric bypass patient two and a half years post op and for the rest of our lives we have to follow the 30 minute rule so 30 minutes before we eat or 30 minutes after we eat we have to wait to drink it's so good though I can't stop eating it we still got the ball Somebody's eating my popcorn. I take a potty break. First and ten at the fifteen. Just gone a few minutes from a potty break, and I come back and you stole my popcorn. Well, then I'm just gonna get a drink.
at the Cleveland Guardians game, we had nothing but rain yesterday, ended up just making the decision to go home because we assumed it wasn't going to stop raining the way that it was going. We get home and then they started the game up, so I'm grateful that we could just sit through this whole game. Snacking on some popcorn. Got to enjoy a snack during halftime and then I finally got to go home. So here we go, brownies. Here we go. We'll, we'll, we'll get them second half. We're only one point behind. Amazing game so far and amazing seats. Um, our seats were actually a little bit further behind and they upgraded us to closer seats but on the platform uh, because I did have to get wheelchair to my seat due to doctor's orders uh, to me post-op surgery. So having a great time. Say hi. Let's do it. Philadelphia Eagles. So we still got time and we're still ahead. 
stop I got a wheelchair assistance and they were right on time like probably two minute mark of the game so um, I didn't even get to stay for the last two minutes but we're headed to the car slowly because I got to walk like a turtle I had thigh plasty um, two weeks ago so I'm still healing and the doctor said if you go you got to get wheelchair you can walk but not that far so they encourage us to walk, but they just don't want me to walk long distance as of yet. So, unfortunately, we had an amazing day and a really fun afternoon. It was my husband's birthday present uh, to go to the Cleveland Browns game. But, right now, we lost. Better luck next time. But it was good to see how the new players are um, and who we think will be good and who we think that, you know, 
isn't that great, but had an amazing Sunday weekend. Uh, and the rain held off and we had some nice sun. So, but unfortunately, yep, we lost. Still a Cleveland Browns fan for life. Right? Yes. <laughs> it's just preseason game, so we're just seeing how players that react and stuff, so we're doing good. Yeah, he's I better broadcasting that, yeah. So he's good at knowing who's going to be good, who's going to be bad. Uh, I might uh, let him reiterate on that on some of the players. So those that are Avon um, Browns fans like us, um, we are number one fans and we're fans to life, whether we win or lose, because that's what Cleveland Browns fans do. We support our team no matter what. But this is preseason yet, so we're still getting a feel of the players. Oh, Jesus. So on our walk to the car, we get these amazing views, and I wanted to share it with everybody um, on the amazing view. Look at this view. And then this is Lake Erie, just beyond the stadium over there. This is the Great Lakes Science Center, and then right over there is the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. If you're not from Cleveland, Ohio, or anywhere near in Ohio, it would be a great place to visit. You can catch an Indians game. Oops, Cleveland Guardians. I forget that they changed the name. I don't like Cleveland Guardians. I'll be honest with that. I like the Cleveland Indians and the Cleveland Browns game. But we also got the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and this cool Great Lakes Science Center. You can do all kinds of fun stuff. So this is an amazing view where we're at. I'm going to kind of do a 360 aerial view because this is on our way to our car. And I just wanted to catch this beautiful view. Um, we're heading to dinner here shortly. Um, we have to just decide where we're gonna go eat, but I'm gonna show you this view one more time. So this is the Cleveland Brown Stadium. Lake Erie just beyond in between the buildings. Great Lake Science Center. And then this over here is the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Got my hubby standing there. And then these really, really amazing architectural buildings. You got Terminal Tower just ahead of us. This is the county courthouse. You got all these amazing buildings. This big building right here is the Hilton. The tree's actually blocking the actual hotel itself. And then you got Terminal Tower and Tower City just ahead. But I got some um, trees blocking my view. Um, Right there's Key Bank building, which is another iconic in um, Cleveland that you see when you're coming in. There's the Hilton building right there. And then just beyond that would be the Terminal Tower. But once again, I got trees blocking me. But look at this amazing architectural. I mean, just standing here as we're walking to our car. Uh, we usually park in between this road over here that's leading to the lake. But for some reason, they had it blocked off. I don't know if it was full. I don't want to say that it was full because the stadium wasn't full because of the inclement weather. A lot of people just didn't come. So here's these beautiful buildings again. Um, I'll have to get a shot of the terminal tower on the way out. They're just blocked by some trees and buildings. But look at this. This is so amazing. It's so beautiful. It's been a beautiful day so far, and we've been really lucky because the rain held off. Uh, there was some rain when we came in. There was a few different accidents, so it was a little bit chaotic when we came in. So we actually missed part of the first quarter. Um, we came in at the end of the first quarter because by the time we were able to get to a parking space, we had to park a little ways out because they had it all blocked for some reason, and we couldn't get where we would normally park, which is right directly across from the Cleveland Brown Stadium in their parking lot. And so then by the time we parked and we got in, um, because of my um, surgery, I have to get wheeled to my seat just for probably another couple weeks. I have to, I'm still restricted. And that took some time. And then we changed out the tickets just so I can have the platform. Uh, that way they can get in and out with the wheelchair. And then I don't have to get up and down in my seat when somebody wanted to go to the bathroom, get a drink or a snack. But other than that, it still was a great game, even though we missed, like, the, the kickoff. But we came in at a good time, and, um, and we actually got out of there pretty decent. So just amazing view everywhere we go. I love the stadium behind me. 
So we're going to continue on and look at some more of these little architectural buildings and then we're going to make our way to dinner. So we decided to go back to the corner alley for dinner because when we came a month ago in July for our concert and spent the day in Cleveland, we came here for lunch and it was amazing. So this was on our way home, but we're still in Cleveland, but I love this place. It's called the Corner Alley, but they also have like an arcade and a bowling alley. It's actually behind me, some of the decor. So it's pretty cool. So the, the diner is called the Corner Alley, and all the decor in here is all um, like the bowling balls, like behind me, and all the bowling pins and decor. But you can actually go play in the arcade. They have a claw machine, and you can actually bowl. So I think we might do a little fun activities while we're waiting for our dinner. Let's see yours. We could have just held the sandwich up. Oh. That looks good. We both got Philly cheesesteak, but I don't get the bun. And he got fries and I got a salad. Take care out. 